Survive the Nights has just released Devblog 64, a 1.23 preview. And in this one, it is a rather small one, but they've made some massive upgrades to the weapons and completely overhauled some of the weapon models. Alongside that, there's loads of in inventory improvements, which all look pretty damn good. These inventory improvements center pretty much around the weapons themselves, and they look nice. I like it. The weapons look a hell of a lot sleeker, and I'm quite excited for this one. Now, if you are a fan of Survive the Nights, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and stick around for more Survive the Nights content. We do jump on it quite a bit, especially when there's new updates and new content to be played. Absolutely love the game. It is one of my favourite zombie survival games out there. If you haven't checked it out yourself, definitely do so. The links are in the description down below. And if you're new to the game, we've got a whole series full of tips, tricks, and all sorts of good stuff if you do want to check that out. Now... The team have said that they've been busy for some time getting ducks in order, fixing some rather boring backend and network stuff, and they've also taken the time to begin a cleanup process on the actual project itself, in preparation for some additional workshop implementation and a future release. Along the way, we've started the polishing process, and a big part of that is replacing some of our old weapon models. The coming update will focus heavily on weapon improvements. So the weapon models and swaps in general. Model swaps aren't a massive task, but rather a tedious one, and they can be very time consuming. Andre has made some great progress, and we've swapped out four of the current models. The Razor Rig, the FRKS, and the R6084. So R6804, I always get that wrong, which is the Sniper Rifle, and the Lola and Gary. And then finally, the Bateman. So the Lola and Gary is the 45, the Rouser is the 9mm, the FLKS is the auto shotgun, and the Bateman is the big beastie revolver. Along with these model swaps, we've made improvements to animations and animation timings, speeding things like reloads up just enough to make general gameplay feel a little bit more fluid. We've also introduced a new audio sets for quite a few of our weapons, and they sound much more lively, especially the Bateman. So I've played a couple of bits in the background, but this here is what the new FRKS would look like. So the old FRKS is the one at the top, and then the new one's the one at the bottom. I absolutely love that. It gives much more of a modern and sleek feeling, especially for an auto shotgun. It just looks a hell of a lot nicer, and I think a lot crisper, which is what an auto shotgun should look like. I think the old double barrel shotgun, uh, the one at the top represents that a little bit more. So having this one sleeked up, looking black, metal, very, very cool especially the uh, inspection it looks absolutely awesome those vents in the actual um the the uh, barrel look really really sweet i like the look of this the iron sides look nice too they've got a nice green tinge to them very sexy and the go-to pistol of choice the good old rouser rig which is the basically a glock 9mm uh looks really really smart and that bottom one the top one looks cool. I've always thought that the Rouser is one of the best looking weapons in the game. But yeah, I think that bottom one just looks a hell of a lot smoother. And I love the rail on the bottom. It looks nice. It looks very similar to uh, the one of the ones that I've got. Uh, obviously, I'm in the UK, so airsoft. Unfortunately, we're not allowed real bang bangs here, which is a shame. But yeah, it, it, it looks cool. Oh, seen it in the flesh, the way the light bounces off of it. Looks absolutely awesome. I really do like it. I think it would be cool to have the different reflections, though, on the different materials. And that's probably something that's really, really difficult, near on impossible to do. I don't know. But I think that'd be really cool. Obviously, you've got the um, the polymer grip, and then the, the top, the slide is the metal part. So having the light reflect off of those differently, I think, would look really nice. And then also for the weapon attachments. With addition of new models, we'll be improving the attachment versatility. Basically, if it fits, you'll be able to put it on the weapon for the most part. Included with the expansion on what weapon attachments can be used, we'll be introducing two new attachments. Full auto firing mechanisms will now spawn for some weapons in the game. The Razor Rig, the ARG, and the FRKS will get the option to accept a fully automatic mechanism. The Razor and the ARG will also be able to receive burst fire attachments, which, ho ho, ho ho ho, look at this. Damn. I don't know what goes on with the video at the end there. I can't get a, a clearer one, which is a shame. But it's, it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. And I like that they're attachments as well, so you can add them into different weapons. Very, very cool. 
Alongside that, they've improved the inventory when it comes to weapon attachments. And the improvements in the next build will feature some big ones. The big addition will be the ability to quick view, add and remove weapon attachments right on the side of the inventory page. So you'll be able to just attach them without actually having to find the weapon or do anything along those lines, which is just going to make things so much simpler and so much quicker, especially when you're in a bit more of, um, you know, a, a close encounter. You just want to get in, you want to whack your attachment on or remove it because I love attachments in certain scenarios when I'm out in the open, but then when it comes to horde defense and I'm in their home, I don't like it. Like Some of the attachments have a bit of a glare on them at nighttime when you've got the, the fires and everything going on and it makes it really hard to see. So being able to remove and add them on the fly will be so much better. I think the ability to remove them from the game itself rather than going into the menu would be a really nice touch. Um, but We'll see. We'll see. I think that's that's definitely something that could be done down the line. I don't know. I don't know what their plans are when it comes to stuff like that in the future. I will have to maybe speak to the guys and see if we can do a QA and a or something. But next week's blog is going to be a good one because they're going to be showing some more swapped weapons and a brand new weapon, the MK4 or the MP5 which very very exciting now if you are a fan and you've liked what you've uh, you've seen so far then definitely check out all the links in the description because there is loads of good stuff there for survive the nights they regularly have sales uh, it's not on sale at the moment but it is at the moment 20.99 so not 29.99 20 pounds 99 pence so yeah uh, you know relatively cheap which is good and it is a good game. It is fun. I've had hours and hours and hours of content and just loads and loads of fun out of it. It's great to play with friends as well. Me and a few of the guys in Discord, we've jumped on this quite a few times and we've done a load of streams with it. We had loads of fun. So definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of zombie games. And it keeps getting better with each update, which is brilliant. Hopefully they add some more actual more substantial content within the next few updates whether they will or not i'm not 100 percent sure but some new hours and loads of stuff to actually go around and, and, and check out the map is absolutely massive it will take you it, it took me hours and hours and hours to actually explore it but once you've done it you can find some really cool places to set up bases and you've obviously just survived the nights which is loads of fun but hopefully they add loads more stuff i'd love to see a military base or some more bunkers stuff like that but that is for a separate video we will go over that at some point we'll do a full video on what we'd like to see out of survive the nights in 2023 we'll probably do that a little bit later on but either way let me know what you think about the game in the comments down below i've been wired you guys have been awesome massive thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon with some more survive the nights